guys, welcome back to Doing Daisies 50 Christmas Crafts in 50 Days. Today we'll be making these adorable little lanterns that actually do light up. And um, they're really quick and easy. I found the lanterns at Dollar Tree. They look like this, just plain um, black plastic. And I thought, you know, those are interesting. I could probably do something with those. And this is the finished product. So um, being that they're smaller, I did tear apart some um, picks, Christmas picks that I had and just re-glued the pieces together and how I wanted them to look. And for this, I also took some of the bright silver jingle bells. And if you can see the difference here, I knocked down the color and made it more old world like the uh, finish here just using this Craftsmart silver paint pen and I got it I believe in a pack of 12 for eight dollars at Michael's so these are a really good deal um, they do come in handy I end up using them all the time so let's get started um, for this one I believe I'll be well I am going to be working with the gold and I'm using this metallic luster it's from deco art and I'm sorry this is the silver that I used on the other one this is the gold that we'll be using for this today it's a little bit messy process but it does clean off your fingers fairly easily so what you need to do is just take just a little bit of the paste wax on your finger and just start wiping it gently around Okay, and as you go, you can pick up some more. I'm not trying to get complete coverage here. I'm just trying to give it uh, an old look, dress it up so it's not just that plain cheap plastic look. There we go. All right, and where I can't get my fingers on the small, my index finger in the smaller areas, I'll just use my pinky, swipe it around like that. And this is what I'm going to be doing for this entire piece. Okay, and again, this was the Metallic Luster by Deco Art in the Gold Rush color. And it dries really quick. This is what the lantern looks like with just the gold on it. Really cute on its own, just dresses it up, doesn't look nearly as cheap as it did when we picked it up in the cheap black plastic. All right, now I think I'm gonna be doing this with um, some different elements that I did on this one. Um, I love the cool frosty look of this, but since this is gold, I think we are going to go with warmer tones. And I have these gold picks here. And what I'm gonna do is just tear them apart like I did before. So I'm only using the elements that I really want. All ye faithful, All right, and joyful and triumphant. Let's get this off of come here. Ye, come okay, ye and again, I've got a couple other picks here. Things that I have I can use as well. Come and behold him so, on the king the first thing I'm going to do is get out my nonstick craft mat and kind of. Lay these out as I would like them. Okay. Don't need those caps on them. And I think I'm also going to use a holly leaf. There we go. So I'm going to take my glue gun and glue these together. Sing choirs of angels. 
Sing in exultation Sing all your citizens of heaven above Glory just pull those there to God In the highest Come let us adore him Come let us adore him are dry and I'm just going to decide what I want to add which elements to this and I think I'm liking this uh, if I can get it off of here more than one way to do this there we go I think I like this pine cone and from this, maybe just this little gold bauble. So I will just put that there. And of the Father, now in flesh appearing. Come let us adore. Right, and then I will stick my pine cone on there as well. Just hold that for a minute. Now, as you can see, what I have is much smaller than the picks you normally pick up, and it will fit nicely when we put it here on our lantern. All right, so all we're going to do is glue this to the lantern. Just gonna hold this on here for a minute. Born the king of angels. Come let us adore him. Come let us adore him. Okay, there now that's on there, and this is so cute. This is coming along so well. Alright, now. I'm going to take some gold ribbon and I'm just going to see if I like this around the top or not. Okay, and this is the gold sparkle ribbon you can pick up at uh, Dollar Tree again. And you can pick up ribbon fairly cheaply almost anywhere. Uh, Walmart is a good source for ribbon. I use it all the time. Okay. And I'm just going to bring this around in the back. I kind of folded it in the back so it'll go around smoothly in there. And then as I bring it around to the front, I'm going to flip it over and work it so that we have the gold. Coming down. All right, so our ribbon will start out kind of like that. Now it does want to pop up and out to the side, and we do need something right here to kind of set it off. So, what I'm thinking for this one, since we have the reds and the golds, is just using a red rhinestone right here. And you can pick these up anywhere, um, large packs or small. And I'm just going to glue this all together right up here. I want to pull my ribbons back down. Otherwise, that would look pretty ridiculous. Okay, whoops. And he moved as well. Okay, we'll let that sit there for a minute. And then we've got a little bit of hot glue on our rhinestone. We'll just pick that off. And that'll look just fine. Now, I'm just going to go in and cut my ribbons at an angle. 
Here is our gold lantern all dressed up for the holidays. All right, that's it for today, guys. Hope you have a great day, and we'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye. Sing choirs of angels, sing in exultation, sing all your citizens of heaven above.